cooking hot roofer here. So today I, I'm supposed to smile more. So there, there's my smile. So we're gonna make some beef jerky. Um, what I do here is I've got my bait or my hamburger and I stick them in little bags so then they freeze faster and they thaw out faster. So I it in hot water so it's just kind of draining. So I've got my spices and these are from a, a previous jerky batch and you can use whatever spice you want. If you want it hot, if you want it weak, whatever you want. I just, I'm adding all that spice to it. All right, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this acid rain. It's that hot sauce that I got um, from a previous, from a previous video that I was mentioning. So I've got that all in there. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Now there's still a piece that's frozen in here. So we gotta just break that up. Just mix it all up. I'm not gonna make a big batch, just a small batch. And yeah, it's it's on my website at www.cookinghotroofer.com. So and you can see my my jerky that I've made previously. And instead of rolling it like I did before, so it's not gonna be as wide. It's just gonna be um, like it'll be narrower. It won't be as wide as it was. And I'm still using the same dehydrator. It's a food dehydrator. No eggs or anything. Just if you want flavoring, whatever type of flavoring you choose. And instead of rolling it out on uh, parchment paper, because I had two pieces of parchment paper and my, my rolling pin. This puppy right here. Didn't use that, where I use that, but this time I'm gonna do it differently. And I'll come back and I'll, I'll fill this thing up and I'll show you. Okay, so I've got this. It's called an MS Detail gun. And what MS Detail is, I brought it in to show you. It's a polymer sealant and this fits, you, you cut the tube and this fits right inside. Is this thing food grade? No but I'm eating it, right? If you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. So, but yeah, this is for roofing for, um, well, basically it's, a, it's an, like I said, it's an industrial sealant or silicone. So I just brought that in to show you. And what I did was I modified the tip and I cut it off. And what they normally look like is, uh, it's outside. Be right back. This is what it originally looks like. You just cut the top off and squish out the silicone. But I want to keep this specifically for um, for cooking with, like making my jerky or whatnot. So. Tip this a little bit if I can without stopping it. Yeah, just bend the tripod. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shoot this stuff out. It's really thin. It's not gonna be a thick. Like I said, it's not going to be a thick jerky. And I'm just using the parchment paper. This is new to me today as well. I've never used this thing before. I've usually just rolled it right out. And I don't usually use a wet base like I did with the hot sauce. I normally just do it dry so it's just the spices but this is new for me I've never done it wet so I'll finish these lines and I'll come back
Okay, so you can see I've done six rows. I've still got a little bit left in here. I still have some left in my bowl. So what I want to do is take a knife. Again, this is all new for me as well. Okay? This one's new. I've never used it before. Like the MST tail gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to whatever size that you want to use this stuff as. I'm going to make it um, four inches. Yeah, you got to be really gentle because it's thin burger, right? Let's try it this way. Maybe a spatula would work better. Little metal spatula. Nope, it's not wide enough. Let's try my favorite knife. Works a bit better, but I'm just gonna lay it right on top of the, of the little grilly thing. Thing you can see it right there. this all up like I'll try to do all the burger at once and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like okay so I got a little bit of this stuff left yeah it's been a while so I'm just gonna clean this out I'm gonna do it the other way I used to do it come on so we need a knife obviously Then I gotta wash all this by hand. So I'm just gonna put it in the sink for now. Yeah, that's it. Now I'll keep that. Back in there. We're gonna flatten it out a bit. Just take the rolling pin. Just do it enough for the weight of it itself. The weight can squish it out, or flatten it out, sorry. So we're gonna use the last one now. Obviously I've used all five trays. So we're just gonna These ones are super thin. Let's see if I got it. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Let's try it again this way. Yeah. I'm losing my burger. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Nah, I lost my mind a long time ago. But that's another story. Here we go. So obviously it's not going to be that many. It's only going to be four. But still, we have it. paper away we'll take these yeah that's got to be recleaned so here we go got my 
one layer. You can see it all in there, right? I could even put this on the bottom if I wanted to. Yeah, I'll put this one on the top. The second layer, third and fourth layer. Last but not least, that layer. Lid on it. Put it right on the dehydrator. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in and I'll be back in a few hours. Hey, so it's me again. It's been about an hour. This is going to take quite a while to do. So what I'm going to do is, as I go along, I'm going to take the bottom one, exchange it for the top one, and put that one back on the very top. Now the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of the heat is down here, right? And there's no fan in this, so it's, it's, a, it's a slow heat. And so I'm just kind of gradually bringing it up. So each one every hour, basically. So it's gonna take a couple hours to do this. I'm just bringing each one up <clears throat> so then they all get the heat evenly and distributed properly. So by the time, hopefully I'm done, this, this one with just like the four in it, four little pieces that I showed you with the parchment paper will be down at the bottom. And well, I'm kind of hoping that this one, by the time I'm done, is back up at the top and these should be complete so yeah um, that's what I'm hoping for so I'll be back and poof there you have it beef jerky it's all loose it's good for you and there you go and that's another cooking show from cooking out roofer <laughs>